Starting at home, Umamo traveled uphill to the gift store for 45 minutes at just eight miles per hour. She then traveled back home along the same path downhill at a speed of 24 miles per hour. What is her average speed for the entire trip from home to the gift store and back? So we're trying to figure out her total, her average speed for the entire trip. That's going to be equal to the total distance, the total distance that she traveled over the total time, over the total time, total time. Well, what's the total distance going to be? Well, the total distance is going to be the distance to the gift store and then the dif distance back from the gift store, which are the same distances. So it's really, you could say, two times the distance to the gift store. So two times the distance, distance to the gift store, to the gift store. And then what is going to be her total time? Well, it's time to the gift store. So it's time time to gift store, and then plus the time coming back. Time coming, coming back from the gift store. Now, we know that the distance to the gift store and the distance back from the gift store is the same. So that's why I just said that the total distance is just going to be two times the distance to the gift store. We don't know. In fact, we know we're going to have different times in terms of times to the gift store and times coming back. How do I know that? Well, she went at different speeds. So it's going to take her, it's going to take her, actually, she went, she went there much slower than she came back. So it would take her longer to get there than it took her to get back. So let's see which of these we can actually, we already know. So how do we figure out the distance to the gift store? No point here do they say, hey, the gift store is this far away. But they do tell us, this first sentence right over here, Umama traveled uphill to the gift store for 45 minutes at just eight miles, at, at just eight miles per hour. So we're given a time and we are given a, and we're given a speed, we should be able to figure out a distance. So let's just do a little bit of a side here. We should be able to figure out the distance to the, distance, actually let me write it this way. Distance to the store, distance, to store will be equal to, and we gotta make sure we have our units right. Here they gave it in minutes, here they have eight miles per hour. So let's convert this, let's convert this into hours. So 45 minutes in hours, so it's 45 minutes out of 60 minutes per hour. So that's gonna give us 45 sixtieths, divide both by 15, that's the same thing as three fourths. So it's gonna be three fourths hours, three-fourths hours is the time, times an average speed of eight miles per hour, times eight miles per hour. So what is the distance to the store? Well, three-fourths times eight, or you could view it as three-fourths times eight times one, is going to be, what's well, gonna be 24 over four, let me just write that, that's going to be 24 over four, which is equal to, did I get, yeah, 24 over four, which is equal to six. And units wise, we're just left with miles. So the distance to the to store is six miles, two times the distance to the gift store, well this whole thing is going to be 12 miles. 12 miles is the total distance she traveled. Now what is the time to the gift store? Well they already told that to us, they already told us that it's, four, it's 45 minutes. Now, I wanna put everything in hours. I'm assuming that we, they want our average speed in hours, so I'm gonna put everything in hours. So the time to the gift store was three-fourths of an hour. Three-fourths hours. And what's the time coming back from the gift store? Well, we know her speed. We know her speed coming back. We already know the distance from the gift store. It's the same as the distance to the gift store. So we can, fig we can take this distance, we can take six miles, that's the distance to the gift store, six miles, divided by her speed coming back, which is 24 miles per hour. So divided by 24 miles per hour gives us, well, let's see, we're gonna have six over 24 is the same thing as one fourth, it's gonna be one fourth and then miles divided by miles per hour is the same thing as miles times hours per mile. The miles cancel out, and you'll have one-fourth 
of an hour. So it takes her one fourth of an hour to get back. And that's, that fits our intuition. Actually, let me write that in the same green color since I'm writing all the times in colors, in green color. So one fourth of an hour. So she went there, going to the gift store was slow, took her three fourths of an hour. Coming back only took her one fourth of an hour. One fourth of an hour. So now we're ready to, to calculate her average speed for the entire trip. Her average speed for the entire trip is going to be equal to the total distance, which is 12 miles, 12 miles, divided by her total time. 3 fourths hours plus 1 fourth hour is exactly 1 hour. So her average speed is 12 over 1, which is just 12 miles per hour. Her average speed is just 12 miles per hour. Per hour. And you might have been tempted to say, hey, wait, why don't I just average 24 and 8? But that wouldn't have been right because she's traveling those for different amounts of time. So what you really have to do is just think in terms of go back to your basics, total distance, total time, figure out the total distance. This first sentence right over here gives us half of the total distance, the time to the store. We just double that to get the time back. And then our total time we can figure out. They tell us the time to the store. And then we can figure out the distance from the store and using that and the velocity and the speed to figure out her time back. And then we get total time, distance divided by total time, 12 miles per hour.